the Sneako B. Finally, back with some more. Hunter, Hunter, Jesus Christ. Uh, wow. That was a really rough place to have to fucking stop for a while, wasn't it? But no, we're finally back, at least for, for now. At least for freaking now. So yes, if you haven't kept up with my coverage of this, I posted a nice long video uh, just yesterday talking about uh, what was going on with Hunter Hunter. I just wrote it as an important update because I didn't want Nippon to like take notice of it and be like, wait a minute, wait a minute, there's a little video we have appealed and we haven't done anything about. So I, I did that. So it's there if you want to watch it. Basically covers uh, most of everything, but I apologize for the, the the hiatus, and I'm hoping I'm hoping that there's not gonna be any more from the trouble from this point onward. But if there is, then I will. If it, there's anything like that, I've already uploaded. Me, I'll just upload to my Twitch until it gets sorted out. But my hope, my biggest hope is that I I can just make it all the way to the end of this arc, right? Uh, finish this series so I don't have to stop in the middle of the freaking story, right? Where we're about to get into some freaking hype shit, which is what this is. And I can already tell a lot of you guys are actually really excited about this episode. And it's like, I'm like, oh shit. I think it's about to get fucking crazy. I was not expecting Kura Pika to fight this dude, this jacked as fuck guy. I was like, Jesus. Like before he got the drop on him with his chain ability, but to actually like go in a, a conflict between him head on, like this crazy asshole, they could do bit off a dude's head and then spit his skull right through another guy's face. This guy's crazy. I don't know what to expect. I don't know how the hell Kirby is supposed to handle this guy. Even if he's put this restriction on himself, which does seem to increase his power, this guy's no joke. He's gonna really, I think, have to outsmart him. But I think Evogan has already showed that he's actually a pretty smart fighter, you know, despite it seeming like a giant meathead. He actually does uh use his brain a bit uh but anyway last episode uh dante crux said <laughs> vogan since i'm a nice guy where do you want to die i'll accept any requests kurapika i want to die old surrounded by my friends and family mm. also you killed my family so good luck mm. just leaves <laughs> he's like yeah no never mind <laughs> that's how kurapika wins but not even fighting at all just being like well you know what you said i could chick pick anything well, I can't fulfill that request, so I guess I gotta go. Bye! <laughs> Dante, thank you so much for your hilarious comment. And it's for that reason, you are our comment of the day. But what you guys did actually tell me, apparently uh, the scene with Liario with uh, Gon and Killua uh, doing the arm wrestling thing and uh, scouting out the, the sharks was actually done quite a bit differently in the manga, where uh, Liario basically like showed the mobster guys how strong he was and basically did an arm wrestling there and broke some dude's arm. And then said, oh, those kids are like even stronger than I am to like convince them uh, to, to bring them to their secret uh, secret club, right? Uh, for the for their own arm wrestling thing. Oh, damn, that sucks. I don't know why they got rid of that then. Because that's the problem is like, it seems like there's all these moments where Liario seems to get stronger, or even as strong as Gone or Killua, but they don't really talk about it. They just kind of gloss over it in the, in the anime here. I don't know. I'm just hoping they don't like shaft Liario out of any fights, which I mean, if, if he's that strong in the manga, I feel like it's clearly setting him up to actually have some battles in the anime as well. So I hope they, they don't just like, like every fight he gets into in the manga, it's the craziest shit ever, but eh, we're gonna cut that shit, whatever. I wanna see Liara do some shit. But all right, guys, I don't wanna like, <laughs> I've been waiting for this fucking episode forever and it's been so hard, so freaking hard not watching it, having to wait like, two weeks before finally getting back to the series. But finally, guys, we get to see the confrontation between Evogan and Kurapika, and I am fucking pumped. All right, Piggy Penguins, without further ado, episode 47, let's get started. Damn, kept you waiting, huh, Nico? Yes, you did, or I did, or Nippon did. Oh, okay, you wanna go to a deserted wasteland, huh? So we're gonna drag them all this shit. I gotta go somewhere where I can't harm any people with my awesome power. Condition and condition. Ooh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. That's gonna be, that's gonna relate to what he was talking about before, right? The, he had to put place a condition on himself to, to increase his power, right? So is he gonna, is there gonna be additional conditions on Kurpika? That's how he's gonna be able to go toe to toe with this dude. Oh, fuck. Look at this blood moon, guys. What a perfect night for a battle to the death. God, they really are in a Dragon Ball wasteland here. We're, we're gonna look over to the side. Goku and Vegeta are battling each other. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Really? <laughs> yes, so good. Oh, ew. That's so funny. I thought it was bubbling up. He's actually pissing out. Now you saw the leech eggs. That's so gross, dude. That is disgusting. Yes. 
God, he's really taking a long time pissing. Oh, it's like letting a kidney stone out. It fucking hurts, Kerbiga. Ah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna just wait till he's done. I'm still pissed at him, by the way, for murdering my clamp. Ah. Ah. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I actually, start, I'm starting to feel a little bad for him now. Okay, I brought a brewski with me. I am so ready to throw down. Ah, <laughs> oh, some good shit. Okay, here we go. Do it. Kirby can let him know who you are. Tell him what this shit means to you. A special intent. Yeah, I bet you do. Oh. Fucking sick. He's taking the weighted clothes off. <laughs> Actually, no, they probably weren't weighted, but it's still fucking sick. Yeah. He rips off his shirt. He's got a fucking dragon tattoo on the back. And that time skip, I also, had, I also became a Yakuza, by the way. And I forget to mention it. The people who made an... Impression, huh? All right, which one of the 8 billion people that I killed are you trying to avenge? Was it the Ichigo clan, the Naruto clan, the Luffy clan, the Yurameshi clan? No, it was none of those lesser sounding anime clans. <laughs> Never heard of them, fuck off. What the fuck? Was he not around for it? Five years ago, he's definitely a member. <laughs> Nothing at all. Oh shit, oh fuck, he's powering up. Here we go. Oh, energy. I wonder if there's any chance that Kirby could be wrong about it. Like, he doesn't remember because it actually wasn't them. I don't think he'd mistake that. I don't think it'd be like, well, it's someone who's pretended to be the, the Phantom Troop or something, but well, we'll see. Oh, fuck. Boom. Energy. Big punch. That's an all might punch right there. Here come the chains. I'm gonna be curious how he's gonna kill this guy with chains. Just choke him out. Holy fuck, this animation. Woo! Woo! Yeah, those chains are fucking crazy they hold an abnormal amount of nen oh this golden energy nen that's fucking coming off these change they smack you it's gonna slice you in half or something that's like some scorpion shit <laughs> oh man kirby is gonna have like a fatality on Ugo vogan it's gonna stick it right up between his crotch and pull it up through his head Blah! bisect him strike first to win oh that looks oh <laughs> fuck Kirby, it took that shit head on. Yeah, how did he... So left, ar left arm is useless? Is it? What? He's fine. <laughs> Nani? Oh, uh, what? Excuse me? That's interesting. Bakana. Bakana. Oh, here we go. Same amount of men, it must be manipulator conjurer. And you got it. Oh, that's so sick. But only enhanced if you able to block my attack. Hmm. Has he been learning some enhancing skills as well? That's that's actually like the opposite of his... Like, that's really far outside of his wheelhouse, I think. I, I think. It's interesting, though. He, he thinks that he's a manipulator, right? Like, he thinks, oh, it's got to be a manipulator, not a conjurer. That was what the other guy thought, too. Although, clearly, there are some manipulation techniques in, you know, his, him controlling his chain. Yeah, what is he? Hmm? Oh, my God. That's so fucking sick. <laughs> is that all you've got? Big guy. <laughs> he wants to piss him off. 20% of your strength. What are you, Taguro? Somebody who's half. Oh, God. Big punch. Oh, my God. What the fuck, Kurpika? <laughs> Big kick. Bring your stupid fucking face. I'm coming in hot. Oh! Boot to your fucking spine. Jesus Christ, Kirpika! What the fuck, dude? I was not expecting this level of curb stomping. I thought he's gonna have to like really outsmart him. He's just no, he's just overpowering him through sheer strength. Where is this demon power coming from, Kirpika? <laughs> ah! Big hit, Shockwave! Careful! Careful! He's using in. He's hiding his power. Ugh, blocked him with his arm. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, this time I fucking broke your arm. I saw it. I heard it. I felt it. Okay, that looks that looked painful. Well, I did ask him to do it, I guess, right? <laughs> Big bang impact. Oh, man, his arm's fucked up. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. No fucking way. He got him! <laughs> That's so cool. Four out of the conjurer's net. Don't reveal his power! Don't reveal your power! Don't bleach me, man. It's the thing in bleach, too. Uh, that always drove me nuts. The 
everybody would always like talk about like, hey, let me tell you about my power. <laughs> let me tell you how I do this shit. Okay, maybe I can use in to render them invisible, which is I think kind of what like, well, no, Ahsoka's stuff is just like an energy that you can only see if you have use Gyo, right? That's so cool. Is he tricking us? Uh, wait. You kept the chains out to trick us into thinking they were real. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, he meant he, he meant the entire, yeah, the entire fam troop. Because earlier, that's what everybody else would have thought as well, right? Thinking that these are just chains that he's holding on to and manipulating them. I, that, that's even before. He's saying, I don't think he's a conjurer. He's a manipulator. I got gotcha. you. Okay. And then he said us, though. I was like, oh, God, is there like another person here? What? Pretend to be manipulator using neck control chains. Clever lad. So then you Oh. He's been slowly putting his chains around him. Right. Yeah, see, Enhancer is... I mean, it's not the total opposite side, but it's pretty far from where the uh, Conjurer is. Oh, the eyes! Show him! Your special eyes! No, now he remembers. <laughs> Your grudge are my power! Yeah! Fucking squeeze the shit out of him! That's right, motherfucker. You can't break these chains. What? When my eyes turn scarlet, I become a specialist? What? Huh? Excuse me? What? What was that? When I am a specialist, I wield full control over every category of Nen. And this is my power. Emperor Taima! Absolute mastery! What the fuck? Are you kidding me? What? Dude, that's fucking crazy. Excuse me? That sounds insanely broken. <laughs> what? What in the shit? So Kirby actually is a specialist too or has a specialist ability? That allows him to master the other other categories, but he only does it if he gets really angry, right? Like his eyes only get like that with any mention of the Phantom Troop, I, I think, and just his rage, his rage. Like he has to be angry for that shit to work. Oh my God, that's, that's fucking crazy. So that's, how, what? How, seriously? How would you know how to do all those other things? How did you, I, I, I feel like I don't understand his power system enough to figure out how this is possible. This guy's like, oh, well, fuck. That's a, a big uh, problem. Does this guy do, have, have any specialist abilities? Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, I've seen what we saw before. They're gonna be chained down to hell. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Something very close. A condition and a condition. A rule and a swear to always follow it. The stricter the rule, the stronger the power will enable. Normally N is, oh my god, what the fuck? We're getting some arithmetic here? Normally Nen is additive, but a Nen technique with the conditions is multiplicative. What the fuck? Are you kidding me, formulas? Attack plus Nen times condition difficulty equals a billion times power. Oh my god, this shit is absolutely bananas and I love it. Your strength will increase exponen exponentially. This technique is very volatile. It's a double-edged sword. If you break the rule you set, you could lose your Nen. Ah... Okay. I figured, actually, I figured if you broke the rule, it would, like, lose your life. Like, you would die. Wait, isn't that what he said before? He was saying before that he, you, you would die from it? If I use this on anybody else, I lose my life. It's so only the prerequisite. Okay. Oh. Oh, there you go. Okay. That's, that's what it means. So, the condition is, it isn't, oh, I'll lose my Nen. I will die. That's what he added on there to make it stupidly strong. In addition to the fact that I'll only use this on the Phantom Troop. And your eyes are scarlet, your aura spikes. Oh, and that's like figure I was a specialist too. Oh, wow. Damn, I do kind of wish they showed more of that fucking training. I mean, maybe they'll keep going back to it, but I could spend like 10 episodes, I feel like, watching Kurapika train for this shit. This shit's so fascinating. He's like, what? That is busted. Ow. What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god, holy chain healing thumb? Excuse- Oh my god! This guy's like, fuck, I am so fucked right now! Are you kidding me? Somebody needs to patch Kurapika, he's just way too strong, alright? They need to nerf the fuck out of him. Oh, it chose him to be his first target for a reason, huh? I told you you, you prefer to fight alone. Mmm. Trust that your strength will prevail. Wow. Because then I can test my chain- if my chain jail be effective on the rest of the troop. Mm-hmm. Clever boy. Oh, change your 
Forcefully activate Zetsu upon any troop member in snares. Ah, uh, ah, uh, fuck. It's been a while. What's Zetsu again? Um, it may explain. And it, oh, and it paralyzed them too. Okay, cool. Oh, Zetsu nullifies aura. Okay. You use physical strength alone to break those chains. Okay, so he can't rely on his Nen. He has to use only his own raw power, which means a big guy. This <laughs> <laughs> force activation of Zetsu is fucking bad. Oh, punch him in the dick, Carpiga. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, it's like starting your physical brawn. Ow. Oh, that's that's so fucking cool, man. What the fuck? This shit is crazy. This shit is crazy, penguins. This shit is crazy. Dude. Oh, my God. This shit is fucking hype as hell. This was so worth waiting two weeks. Jesus, man. So now he has no order to protect himself. It's not just his own power. He can't defend himself. So all he can do is rely on his own physical bra. And he's a big guy, but Kurapika, even with... I mean, he says he's master. I feel like there's no fucking way he could just be perfect. Like, everything is perfect, right? For all these different skills. I feel like if he were to use enhancer abilities or his idea of enhancer abilities against this guy who's a, who is an actual master, I feel like he would still get beat out. I, I, I feel like that has to be it. Otherwise, this would just be totally broken. But the fact that he's now, like, used it and he's just punching through this guy's muscle, right to his fucking kidneys, just like, oh, it's like, oh, my God. Wow. Wow, Kurapika. He's just humiliating this guy. You better kill him, though. Like, I, I'm still nervous that, like, he's going to keep talking too much, tell him too many, too much of his plan, of his power, and then this guy's going to think up some shit. Oh! Blah! Fuck his arm up. Courtesy. Oh, fucking Kirby is pissed. Wow, this guy's not willing to give up any information, huh? Oh, man, he's really getting messed up. Oh, fuck. Right into his heart. Conditional bond on your heart. Good God, man. Fuck. So does he actually have that? He actually had a literal chain on his heart like this This right now? When they showed that earlier. I wasn't sure if that was just like a metaphor. Like, no, he's actually got a big thing stuck in his chest like that. I feel like just even have that stuck in there can't be good for you. Judgment chain, Arbiter Littlefinger. Littlefinger, you must answer my question honestly. Oh my God. <laughs> fucking hell savage as fuck it's been too much time in that state oh fuck it drains him of energy or something damn he did he just killed him like wow 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 some count of monte cristo shit man no get fucks given he, i i i wasn't sure at the end i thought maybe he'd like he'd at the end, be like, like, I can't kill this guy, right? Push him to the brink of death, but then be realizing he's not capable of killing. Nah, fuck you. All right, maybe some other shonen bullshit with lovey-dovey and friendship is power. But no, eat shit, motherfucker. You die. But it shows something. It showed they're surprisingly loyal to one another. Or at least Devogan was to the Phantom Troop. They're not just like some random fucking dudes. They seem to like actually look out for each other, which is surprising. For, for a, a group of killers that don't seem to give two shits about anybody else, right? Or innocent life. Kurapika! Melody! Kurapika's... Fuck this guy up. God, Kurapika's covered in his blood. Just, he's dead. That's fucking it. Game over, man. Wow. Yeah, bury his dumb ass. Uh, uh, at least flip me over, asshole. Flip yourself over. Dipshit. Damn, this anime is savage as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of love it for that. Oh, it sounds like somebody's having fun out there. Or like me. But in a one-on-one -on -one fight, he's most vulnerable to those two categories. Hmm. This guy knows his, knows his uh, member as well, doesn't he? Oh, shit. Doesn't return by dawn. Well, he ain't come back, man. Shadok senses the danger as Evogan fails to return. He's dead. Ah! 
<laughs> Stuka's like, oh, I, don't look at me. I had nothing to do with it. Holy fuck, man. That episode was unfucking believable Damn, that was crazy. It was fucking crazy. <laughs> wow, man. So cool. Oh, I'm so glad that wait for that was so worth it. All right, it's back to Gon and Killua's stupid bullshit. Evolkin, he's dead. Who gives a shit? Big Red, hey, I'm alive. Yeah, that was, uh, oh, that was definitely worth the goddamn wait. That was unbelievable. I loved that episode. That, that was such a fucking cool fight, man. Yeah, that ended up being way more of a curb stomping than I thought, though. Like, Jesus Christ. I thought, I thought Kurt Pika would have to pull out all the stops to beat this guy. I'm like, this guy seems unfucking believably powerful, right? Like, yeah, he got the drop on him, but it's he's gonna need to do some shit to really whip it out. No, Kurt Pika just destroys him, absolutely wrecks him, and he heals his arm and like, what the fuck, man? But it did show also at the end, after he was in that state, it seemed like he, uh, he can make himself tired. Like maybe he can't stay in that scarlet eye state of his forever. But it's interesting now that, that his, when his eyes turn red, that's now actually become like a, almost like a transformation dip for him. Not just a, an emotional reaction that I feel like there's gotta be some limitations to his like quote unquote mastery of all the, the different types of Nen, right? There's just no way. There's no fucking way. Cause that just sounds so broken. I mean, it has to, it, it is, it is because his eyes have are clearly have already been red up to this point. I, I think when he was fighting him up, up to that point and he took a direct hit and he still got his arm fucked up, right? That shows he, he isn't a total master because if he was, he'd be able to negate that even at this guy's full power. Or maybe it just means like the, maybe it doesn't determine the strength of whatever that net ability is. Just masters, it means he can, he can use it more easily. I don't know. Maybe they explain that better. Or maybe you guys can explain it better because that just sounds off the, like just hearing that sounds super busted. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe he healed himself. Like Jesus, man. Kirby has already got a bunch of cool shit. We're not gone and kill kill what actually not i think but he doesn't have anything yet we're, we're seeing some stuff now kirby it seems like he's already miles ahead ahead of gone Killua, definitely aria all right he's got like a bunch of fucking moves gone could punch shit real good i guess and hop around a lot uh, Killua is kind of the same way unless he like mixes in some of his assassin stuff in there fuck man i want to know who like who's gonna fight who next you know how they're gonna meet up with Kirpika and who among the group, like, who's, like, who's Gong gonna fight? Who's Killua gonna fight? Is, Li is Liara gonna fight? Fuck, man. <laughs> I really hope, uh, I don't run into any more copper issues, because I really don't want to stop, because this is pretty fucking great so far. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode as much as I did. That, that was a ton to react to, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it there, but... Uh, if you did, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not ready to become Piggy Penguin. For this LP where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy!